hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video i will be doing a review on this beauty this is the chanel classic compact wallet it's the flap style and i will be doing a full review on this one i have had this since 2017 although i rotate my wallets regularly it's just that when I use this, I sometimes use this for months and we will be going through its functionality, its durability, what I put here. So let's begin. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kay and I love watching reviews in YouTube, anything about luxury bags, small leather goods, and jewelry. So this one, this is my only Chanel wallet. It's a compact wallet. I got this in Hong Kong because here in the Philippines, there is no Chanel boutique. So I took advantage of this while I was in transit. And yeah, this is just the classic flap style compact wallet. It's in the caviar leather with the gold tone hardware. And as you can see, after five years it's really doing pretty well i don't have any protective film or sticker here and you can see that there are some scratches of course from wear and tear but nothing that significant and while i don't baby it i also don't abuse it basically and the back part just has this zip compartment it's meant for coins, but what I do is, since it's a very tight fit, you can see there's a gusset, but it's one-sided, so the other side cannot hold as much. So whenever I put coins here, I make sure that at the end of the day, as soon as I get home, all the coins that I have accumulated here, I put it in our coin jar. Alright, so this um, zipper holds up really well. It has just this plain leather pull tab and the zipper is still very, very smooth. Alright, so this is what the exterior looks like. Because it's caviar, it's very durable. If there are any scratches or dirt, it's not that uh, visible. It's not that noticeable. And Chanel leathers, caviar leather is very durable. If you want to get to know the brand, get something in caviar leather. So if you open it up, this is how my current wallet setup looks like. So here you have the Chanel logo. It's hot stamped in gold. It has an authenticity card, but I don't bring it with me. It's in the box where it came in. And that one just stays in my closet. So let's start with the bill compartment. So you have here some bills. You really can't put a lot or else you will not be able to close this properly. Or you may put a strain on the leather. So I just have here some bills and receipts. So at the end of the day, I like to take out all my receipts and log my expenses for the day. And that's just how I am. I'm a mom. I'm in my 40s. And yep, that's what I do. Okay, the first part here on the left side, you have here a card compartments. So you can put here three, but there is a flap here at the back and that is where i put my extra cards so this is just a membership card for my points whenever i go to our local drugstore or pharmacy because yeah that's what moms do and i also have here um hmo so it's like a health health insurance for me and my daughter my husband has his own and then this flap is really very helpful um if you look at here just take this out 
If you look at the flap here, there's a heat stamp in gold that says made in Spain. I know you can see that. So, yep. This is a Spanish piece. On the other side, it has a similar flap. And this is where I put my driver's license. So you can easily um, take this out and then put it back in. It won't fit in the other card uh, compartments because it has its own jacket. And then the other side are just um, cards again for my credit card, my debit card, and my re and my frequently used membership card, which is the SM Prestige. So, okay. So, in terms of wear and tear of the interior, because it's a smooth, like burgundy, brownish uh, color, you will see signs of wear and tear, especially on this part here, because you have to fold it. And it puts stress and strain on the leather. And this is something that's expected of any tri trifold um, wallets. And especially if you put a lot of stuff here. Like me, I tend to put a lot of cards. And this is already downsized for me. I don't bring all of my membership cards. And I make sure I plan my trip so that I'm bringing the right set of cards but this is basically what i currently have in my compact wallet another sign of wear and tear would be this one and if you've guessed that it's the button that causes it yes so there is a tendency for me sometimes to uh, rush so and sometimes i just don't close it properly like this and sometimes when i'm in a rush or i have my daughter with me i sometimes put this wallet in my bag like this and it just creates this dent here and i mean that's okay since it's bound to happen especially if you have small kids with you and you're running errands and you're carrying a ton of things what's important is that i have my wallet with me it's in my bag the contents are not falling out despite uh this wallet being five years old and being used for five years it still holds the cards really well nothing is falling off So this is like a stress test over here. And there you go. That is a quick update on the wear and tear. A quick review on the Chanel Compact Wallet. This is the classic flap style. If you really want to try Chanel pieces, you want to try out their leather, I highly suggest you start with small leather goods. They're not as pricey as the classic flaps. And it will give you an idea on how durable the leather is. It's wear and tear. Because for classic flaps, the interior is similar to this one. And hopefully I can give you a review on the wear and tear of my Chanel classic flap. And the caviar leather. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.